Hi there. Thanks for stopping in today. I'm Mary with Mary Stampin' Cafe. You're watching my Stampin' Saturday uploaded video. I'm here today to talk about how quick and easy it is to create some stunning cards with beautifully artistic um, backgrounds and florals and different things um, that make it look like you spent so much time. The Textured Chic suite of products was a great one this year in Stampin' Up's current annual catalog. And you know, transition is coming. The Textured Suite um, Season of, Sh of Chic um, stamp set and dies are in a bundled savings right now through uh, May 1st, I believe. And after that, it'll be in the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog for 2324, but it won't be bundled anymore. You'll lose that 10% discount. Now, the beautiful designer series paper, well, that is going out, and you'd want to grab that. If it's still available, you can check the link below to my uh, Stampin' Up! store that has all of the retired products for you to see. But the star of today is my favorite, and if you're a subscriber, you know. If you're not a subscriber, you're going to find out because you're going to click that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss any of my content. Now, on page 136 of the current annual catalog, the Texture, texture Chic Memories and More card pack, 60% off, and the Texture Chic Memories and More cards and envelopes are 40% off. So instead of $10, $6, instead of $12, $7.20 for 20 cards and envelopes. You guys know, I think those are a, such a deal. It's a way to do some really quick card making because so much of that designing has already happened. You've got beautiful designs on the base of the card. Then you have decorative envelopes. Let me show you what I mean. Look at these beautiful floral lined envelopes with the embossed gold accenting details. You get 20 of these beautiful envelopes. Then you get the four and a quarter by six and a quarter card bases. And look at how pretty that design is. It's almost kind of like a antiquing look. So all that's already been done for you. The quality of the cards and envelopes are very nice. And then the memories and more cards the card pack, you get two sets of cards, the smaller ones that are three by four, fantastic for layering cards. Then you also get the larger four by six cards. You get a variety of all of, of, all of them. You get two each of the designs in the cards, and there's just so many that have sayings already that you can die cut out or punch out. You have different designs on the other side, which are beautiful. And then you have the set of large cards. Now, now all of the large cards aren't here because I'm utilizing some for my cards today. And so you can see though that they're nice, big and bold, lots of things and just beautiful designs. Now, Texture Chic is a season, all season stamp set. So you'll have things that are fall colored, spring and summer, and then winter. You also get, of course, the adhesive pieces. There's two sheets of the design. There's two here that have sentiments that are gold foiled. We've got some accenting pieces, some banner pieces that you can stamp your own sentiment using the Texture Chic um, stamp set. And two of the beautiful gold leaves. So let's go ahead and set these aside. And let me show you the first card that I created and then I'll create another card. So this is one of the cards I created and you can see it is beautiful. You can see that I've done some raising up with dimensionals. That's one way to add a lot of interest to your projects. I use some of the um, holiday rhinestone basic jewels for the center, the larger jewel and then the smaller ones, which is fabulous. I took two of the large cards. What I did is with this one, I cut down a quarter inch around. So I just take off um, an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, same thing. And then it's a quarter inch once you're done. And then I took another one of the large cards because I want a kind of that yellow, that yellow border, but not too large of a border. I wanted still this base of the card to show. And the love is already right there. So it's a beautiful card. Look at all the texture. You really don't need anything else. It's just beautifully done. And then when you open up, what I've done is I've taken another one of the small cards so I can mimic kind of that same 
color here. Was, I think it's pretty peacock. And then I used a couple of the gold um, embellished leaves and then the small circle one that says here for you in gold. Just think that's a beautiful inside for this card. And there it is. Quick, quick and easy. Just a little trimming on my, uh, my trimmer and some dimensionals to raise things up and some bling is always fantastic. And it's just beautiful. All right, so from there, I grabbed some of the basic vellum that is in the January to uh, April mini, but it is carrying over, which is great. And I'm gonna use this polka dotted piece here. I don't know if you can see the polka dots. Yes, you can. Um, this is cut down six by six. It is a 12 by 12 package. All right. So things are going quickly on the last chance sale. So here is another card base. I'm gonna fold that up. And then I took two of the little cards. This one has the snowflakes on it with the little snowflake here, so cute. Um, Enjoy your day is on the back. This one is thinking of you and I'm gonna use that today. And look at that fun floral there. We're gonna use that today. I'm also going to use just a layer of vellum to just add more interest. I'm gonna grab the trimmer and I'm going to trim this out. Let's see again, our card is four by six. I'm gonna go three and a half by five and a half. So I'm gonna take a half inch off both. Did I? Okay, and then that's gonna go just like that. What that does is it softens up the texture on the card front, but it also then gives some pretty, um, pretty tones there. Now, what I thought I would do is adhere this down first. This is interesting because it really doesn't have, sometimes um, sometimes we have textured vellums. I love that because you can't even see the adhesive behind it. That's fantastic. So now what I thought would be really, really great, let me see, I've got my Mango Melody here. It's a Stampin' Spot. And I just wonder what will happen if I give a little brushing. It's kind of bright. I don't know that I want that. No, I'm going to let that be. Okay, so now easy peasy, I'm going to take the card here. This is going to just have, let's see. Yep, what I'm going for here is just layers and textures because there's so much textures in the texture chic that you can really get lots and lots of depth. Now that's gonna go there. Now you're thinking, well, snowflakes, but look when I do this, you don't even know that they're snowflakes, right? And I'm gonna use dimensionals on. No, I'm not. Thought I'd use dimensionals. I'm not going to. So get this in here bring it so we're covering lots of those little things there we go and so then we've got this beautiful layered lots of textures going on so fun now we're going to bring in the textured season of chic we've got this beautiful thing here but what i want you to see is the size of the stamps they are not tiny little things they are nice substantial shells and snowflakes. You see the size of them? Well, you can see the actual size here on the case. So they're beautiful, large, bold images. So we're going to use those today, and I'm going to use Gray Granite and Mango Melody. Mango Melody is a retiring uh, product. Anything in those colors. And then I'm using the Gray Granite just because you're not getting black here. It is a gray, and I just happen to have my spot here, so I didn't go and get any other. So I'm going to ink this up, and then I'm going to stamp it because I've not used this flower. <gasps> Beautiful. Love it. Stamp that flower just like so. That's pretty. Oop. 
Now, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you get Stampin' Spots all the time in your Paper Pumpkin kit, and they are so handy. There we go. That's pretty. What happens when I stamp off? Well, we don't want to really stamp off. Okay. Ink that up. I'm going to stamp right over, find where it needs to go. That's not right. Let's see. I thought I was right the first time, but no. There we are. Look how pretty that is. Now I'm going to do another one. Almost did the wrong flower. So if you click that like button, have you subscribed if you're not a subscriber? I'd love to have you as part of our cafe, Stampin' Cafe. There we are. Now, products, like I said, are going out very quickly. So if you are interested in memories and more cards and envelopes or the card packs, because I'm telling you, you can do some quick and easy cards. They're very, very nice. So let's bring this in here. Let's take a look at our beautiful dies that coordinate. These are the Shake It Chic dies. And woo hoo hoo. Look at all that goodness. How about this right here? Just stunning, right? So we just need our outline flower for this. And we have two of these to cut out, and we just have to turn till we find it. Do, do, do. We're almost there, almost there. I see it coming. There it is, right there. Okay, there's one. Offset your plates on your Stampin' Emboss Mini. The boho blue one, which is a new color in our 23, 25 in colors. Oh, I do want you to subscribe and click that bell. I will be doing two videos very quickly here that are for my uh, two promotions. One is Paper Share Your Way, and the other is my Color Refresh Club. Lots of great ways for you to collect the colors, the new and returning colors that you want to um, get. Slowly over time, be a hostess and get hostess rewards and then also get free product after your completion of the club. It is a great deal. My Paper Share Your Way is also a fabulous deal. And you'll wanna check those things out. I'll put in the link below where you can check out my blog on those. And then there's even uh, registration forms for it. All right, so let's come back down in here. We're gonna have these guys happening here. It's an interesting color going on with that. That mango's not in the same realm as that because when Mango Melody is being mixed with some of the other colors, it kind of changes, right? But I still think that's great, so no problem there. This one's just going to get glued down. And then I'm going to bring in our sheet of the leaves because I think we need those gold leaves. And I think the littler ones will work best for this. Put one there. Very nice. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put the other one on. Kind of tucking it in here. Let's see, where's this one going to go? This one's going to go and get raised up. So I think this one's going to come right over in here like that. Oh, perfect. So this is getting raised up with dimensionals. You just need some dimensionals. You just need your trimmer. Some gems would be wonderful. I'll put that one there like that. And then let's bring in those rhinestone basic jewels again. And it's so neat that that is there. It almost makes me want to put that color 
here, or even, oh, I'm going to go with that one. A little unexpected frosty iciness. Beautiful. I love that. So look how nice that's been coming, just like that. Lots of textures and layers with that um, basic vellum and two of the smaller cards stamped out the flower and die cut out using those gold accents and then some embellishments. And then let's talk about the inside of our card. So as we look at our small cards, again, we've got that soft mango melody and peachiness. Thinking about this might be the one I want right here. Tie in with the background of the card. Perfect. That can pop right in there. And then, thinking of you, let's see what we're going to use. When we have each other, this is the fun part finding. Oh, your kindness amazes me. We're going to do that one. Set those aside. Let me grab my scissors because we, no, let me grab the trimmer because I am not, I am not good at that. Almost finished here. Take and trim that right off. And don't do any of these pieces. They're so perfect for accenting. Oh, still have a little bit of that showing. I don't want that darker mango showing. It's still showing. Let's get that. There we go. Then you know it might be fun. Let's grab the sheet again, the large sheet, and I'm going to pull in. Let's do that. And this is going to go here, but I'm going to pull in this strip right here. All right, so let's do that. Let's put this down. Your kindness amazes me, right? And then we're going to take this, and this is going to go right across evenly, just like so. Your kindness amazes me. Beautiful. Thinking of you. So, Quick and easy, 60 and 40% off. My goodness, so beautiful, this whole suite of products. I would say get your stamp set and dies in that bundled saving right now, even though it is carrying over, you'll lose 10%. And then with our cards and envelopes, as beautiful as they are, they are on discount for $7. 20 cards and envelopes, hello. But check out my links below for um, the retiring products, the last chance sale. You can see all the things that are still available and the discounts that they have if they're on sale. Some things are not discounted. Um, let me know what you think of the cards today. Again, did I do a lot of work? Absolutely not. I let the beautiful cards, memory and more cards, do the work for me and I couldn't be more happy. I want to just keep playing. <laughs> so leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And again, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. You'll want to be checking out my couple of videos coming in the next couple of days that talks all about the Paper Share Your Way and the Color Refresh Club. I hope you want to join that journey with me. So until next time, happy stamping.